Greetings, noble viewers. Welcome to Golden Age Technology on Supreme Master Television. Last week on part one of our program, we met Mr. Ian Lodge, the director of the California Institute of Earth Art and Architecture, or Cal Earth, in California, USA. Cal Earth is a nonprofit organization which seeks to provide self help information on sustainable solutions for building human shelters, particularly for use by developing nations and in those areas impacted by natural disasters. Cal Earth was founded in 1986 by the late Nader Khalili, who was a world renowned Iranian American architect and the inventor of the Super Adobe construction system, as well as the author of books in the areas of earthen architecture. The Super Adobe technology makes use of sandbag building blocks stabilized with barbed wire, coupled with specific architectural designs. Here is Ian Lodge with more details. Two things that we do at Cal Earth is we build with the Earth right. and we use a particular kind of geometry and only that geometry because then you're not asking the building to, to be strong. You're not asking it to, to behave in a way that defies gravity. You're letting it work with gravity and thus the building material can be Earth alone doesn't have to be steel, we don't need all of these industrialized materials, we don't need wood. So we use this, the material that's right there. If we have a project in Africa, when we build in Senegal, we don't take anything. I just arrive with my suitcase and we build with the material right there. The construction method is low cost and easy to learn. The largest cost with this construction is labor. Because the material is earth, there's hardly any cost. Yes. Real low cost. Exactly. So if a family, if any one member of a family were to come here, study this for a little while, and then they go back to where they're from, and they bring in the rest of the village or their family, they can build this for free. And then maybe they could build the uncle or one, then the uncle would help the brother and so on. Yeah. Creative solutions, you know, for a changing world. To provide increased protection from the elements and to enhance the aesthetic appeal of the buildings, the structures are plastered. This is a stabilized earth plaster. It's 90% earth, just regular earth mixed with 10% cement. Uh, and the cement stops it from eroding. When the rains hit, the cement keeps it there. And all the plaster you see here, or much of it's been here for 15 years, as long as the school has been here. And so, you know, it's ongoing, as I say, searching into these materials. And our MO is use as little as possible of industrialized material. Super Adobe structures from Cal Earth meet the rigorous building codes of the earthquake-prone San Bernardino County in the state of California, USA. The building department were very, very stringent with us that we meet these codes because we're right on the San Andreas Fault here. And so Nora Kalili came here particularly because he wanted a really tough climate that had freezing cold winters and hot summers mm -hmm. and it was close to the seismic zone so that if there were ever any issues as to the structural integrity of these buildings they'd be put to rest right here in Southern California where we have such strict building codes so we've really made progress so that everybody can go and petition their building department and say hey we want to build a house without the building department saying no you know you can't do that we've had the engineering done we're ready to really take this thing to another level actually at this point <laughs> Great. 
Let's now take a look at some of the features in various houses designed by Nader Khalili. The first one up is the basic 37 square meter house named Eco Dome. Thus, a pile of earth is turned into this small house we call Eco Dome. I'd like to show you the Eco Dome. So it's the same idea as the emergency shelter. It's exactly the same principle, which has the inherent strength of a dome. Um, and it uses these massive walls that we call super adobe walls. And as soon as you walk in from the outside, the coolness is striking. And that's because that massive wall performs as a insulator. It essentially insulates you from the outside temperature. So all of these structures are very, very comfortable inside, and yet it's low cost. We don't have an AC in here. We don't have any active systems whatsoever. The restroom is just a little add-on to the main space. It's all earthen walls. In this case, we've got some tiles donated, so we tiled it. Um, we brought in plumbing, and you can bring in the normal services into these houses. You know, this has electric, um, it has water. It's easy to fit with the usual services that any house gets. But it's cute. There's something about being inside these places that just feels comfortable. This house could be completely finished in six weeks. When we return, we'll look at more features of Nader Khalili's Super Adobe buildings. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. beautiful no matter how you build them. As I said, you can never uh, see an ugly tree or ugly flowers. Anything that's built with natural elements are always beautiful. Welcome back to Golden Age Technology. CalEarth is a nonprofit organization in California, USA that promotes environmentally orientated arts and architecture and was founded by the Iran-born architect and humanitarian Nader Khalili. Ian Lodge, director of CalEarth, is giving us a tour of CalEarth's campus, which is home to many of the innovative structures that Mr. Khalili has designed. I'm standing next to this curious looking thing here. It's actually a kind of giant chimney and we call it a wind scoop or a wind catcher. And um, it faces the prevailing wind in summer so that when it's hot here, which it is, it's a desert, you know, it's 106, 110 right through the summer. What we do with this wind catcher is it brings in wind from high up down in through the building and it ventilates the building. It's just passive, it's called passive design. It's one element of a number of elements that create um, a strategy for passive design. And I say passive meaning there's no active powered systems. So between those great thick walls and this wind scoop, it keeps this building feeling nice and comfy. How would it feel in winter? Well, winter is another story. Um, you need a heat source. In a normal house, what happens is you heat the air. You're heating the air, and as soon as that air escapes, you've got no heat. What happens with these houses is that 
that heat gets drawn into the walls and the walls sort of act as a battery, as a power storage. Yeah. So instead of heating the air, you heat the wall and then the efficiency of that heat that you've used is not lost, it's contained in the building. So certainly you'd need a heat source. What you really want to do is you want to bring the sun into the building so that you get what's known as direct gain. That heats the floor slab directly and then that radiates the heat out into the house. But you might be thinking, well hang on, in the summer you don't want that sun coming in. Well, it just so happens that in the summer the sun goes way high up in the sky and drops down so that it doesn't enter the window because you put a little eave projecting over the window and then in winter the sun goes real low across the sky meaning that it shines right through the windows and heats the space. It's clever stuff. We were intrigued by a fascinating pattern on the side of one of the structures. This thing looks very interesting. All these little pebbles, uh, huge uh, pebbles on the side. What are they? Well, it, it's a good question. We call them reptiles. So then, as you see with this, instead of a whole wall being exposed to the sun, as the sun moves across the sky, this part later in the day will be in the sun, and this part will be in the shade, so that the building doesn't overheat. That's one advantage of this. Another is that if you have rainfall and it's just sheeting down, what happens is it diffuses the rain and it just brings it down in a much more gradual, manageable way. So you don't have flooding and ponding and so on. Not all of the buildings that were designed by Mr. Khalili are dome-shaped. This house is called the Triple Vault House and it's the first house that isn't a circle. This has a rectilinear floor plan. Tango. Oh, the size of the other Yeah, and it's also a good size too. It feels Just... like a home. Exactly. And uh, this building, all of the walls that you see have no cement at all. It's just the desert earth put into these bags and plastered. The purpose of this house is to show the average person and hopefully developers that this kind of ecologically responsible construction can still offer the modern amenities and luxuries. So we built this house to, to bridge the gap between the environmental responsibility and real life. Many have already learned how to build this house and many more have seen the transformation of the earth. We have all learned the message of the great mystic poet, Jalaluddin Muhammad Rumi, who says, earth turns to gold in the hands of the wise. We salute Cal Earth and its laudable mission to show the world an easy, sustainable, and green way to build housing at low cost. We also appreciate Mr. Ian Lodge's time and the splendid introduction to Cal Earth he provided to us as well. Artistic viewers, thank you for joining us for today's episode of Golden Age Technology. Up next is Vegetarianism, the noble way of living, following noteworthy news. May love and wisdom always be an integral part of your life. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash GAT.